Crop Health and Protection, CHAP, is one of the UK agritech centres working with a wide range of SMEs, helping them to develop their ideas and their technology for the sector, helping farmers develop more sustainable food production systems. This project involves collecting soil and root samples from healthy and infected potato plants to select potentially beneficial bacteria in the soil microbiome. Metabolites from these bacteria were screened in the lab by Bacterbio to select the most promising metabolites to be evaluated here at Rothamsted Research with the Implanter Trials. We're in a glasshouse testing uh, fungicides against potato blight, which is an important disease of potatoes. Potato blight causes a massive uh, risk of crop loss for individual farmers. In certain cases, uh, a farmer could lose an entire field very, very easily and very quickly. So farmers normally take no chances and will spray a dozen or more different fungicide applications each year to make sure they don't lose the crop to this particular disease. There is an urgent need to find alternatives to some of these synthetic pesticides, which are no longer approved for use in the UK. And those of biological origin tend to have a lower risk to the environment and also human health. Microbes are the most genetically diverse life forms on the planet and produce an equally diverse range of chemicals. And these chemicals have been harnessed for applications in healthcare and agritech. But these solutions come from just a very small portion of microbes that have been explored, so around 1% of microbes. The remaining 99% has been completely unexplored and provided as a resource for a great array of chemicals. At Back to Bio, we've built a platform to provide access to the remaining 99% of microbes. Using this platform, which combines next generation sequencing, machine learning and bioengineering, we've built a library of novel and diverse microorganisms that can be cultured and explored for compounds they produce. We have two aims with our library. The first is to discover novel antibiotics to help combat the antimicrobial resistance crisis. And the second is to discover bio-derived fungicides to help secure global food supply chains. To date, we have uh, discovered uh, 2,700 different species in our platform, which represents 5% of all bacterial species cultured. So we use a method called design of experimentation or DOE, which is what we use for uh, tapping into different media to isolate novel microbes for our library. The process we followed was to receive um, the test chemicals from back to bio. We painted those, those chemicals onto the surface of the leaves, uh, let that dry, and then came back an hour later and inoculated a little droplet of spore suspension of the um, pathogen, inoculated that onto the leaves, and immediately bagged those leaves with a little plastic bag to create a humid environment. We remove those bags after a few days and score for the severity of the disease. Once we've scored the disease, uh, we can feed that information back to, back to bio, uh, and they can then make decisions on which chemicals then to, to progress into further trials. This is very early stage R&D, which wouldn't happen without the support and funding of Innovate UK and will ultimately lead to novel crop protection products of biological origin. The funding has been transformative for the company, but specifically this project has allowed us to validate the transferability of our technology. So to build on this project, we've been awarded an additional £711,000 in, in a Farming Futures grant to extend our collaboration and take our development of these compounds even further. More broadly, as a company, we're looking forward to expand the number of pathogens that we target against and also develop our compounds so that ultimately we're able to commercialise them. This uh, project has impacted uh, the expandability of our platform into discovering novel fungicides and antibiotics. Specifically, it has contributed to the development of our company itself. It has contributed largely to the biotech sector in UK, the r and sector in UK. And more importantly, it has also contributed to finding sustainable solutions to answering problems that are facing UK potato farmers. The next stage in the process following the completion of this project would involve efficacy studies in glasshouse and field trials with a view to validating the results of these early stage screening trials. Following this, the process would involve seeking approval of new crop protection products. We've really enjoyed working with CHAP. They were tremendously helpful at the beginning of the project where they helped design exactly what we were going to do and then throughout the project have provided us with samples from UK farmland and also access to the National Reference Collection 
so that we have the pathogens we need to develop our screening platform. We're looking forward to continuing working with CHAP on an upcoming project where we're taking our bio-derived fungicides further down the development pipeline. If you're interested in learning more or want to know how to get involved in these types of projects, then please contact the CHAP team at enquiries at chap-solutions.co.uk or Bacto Bio at info at bacto.bio.